Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks in Canva. So stay tuned. So one of the things I get asked of a lot is about hyperlinks. Hyperlinks don't work uh, when you share your documents. And the one thing that you need to know about hyperlinks is that Hyperlinks are only live in PDF files or when you are sharing the template link or when you're sharing the hyperlink um, to your work uh, space or design. When you share your design as an image, uh, you lose the hyperlinks. It converts it to an image and the hyperlinks are no longer active. So you cannot share a document from your Canva to Facebook, for example, or Instagram, and have the hyperlinks um, remain active. Um, much like you can't uh, share your design in an email, um, uh, the links are no longer active, unless you're attaching the document as a PDF uh, document to your email, then the links will remain active. Now, uh, what I've got have here is a workspace um, and I'm going to pretend that I'm creating a planner and um, I don't have any pages yet, but um, this tutorial, it was specifically designed to show you how to link text to other spots in your digital planner. Uh, and you can use this methodology for anything that you're trying to link really. Uh, but planners um, are one thing that people uh, seem to be curious about how to link to pages. So I've got one page here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape uh, just for the sake of explaining to you about tabs. And I'm going to keep my shape pink just so that for demonstrative purposes. Um, so I've got my shape here. Now, when you are adding a tab, um, you have to insert the tab behind the, this shape. Um, otherwise, what will happen is you're just going to, if you don't have this shape, all you're going to see is uh, your tab. And that's not going to look very nice. So you have to kind of hide your tab. Um, and place it in behind your shape. So um, you can either uh, click on your tab, you can go to position and you can send it backward and hide it behind the shape. Now this shape can be any color. It could even be white. Uh, but again, I'm keeping it pink just to demonstrate uh, how to hyperlink. Um, now I'm going to um, zoom in a little bit on that tab. And if you don't want to use a, a shape uh, as a tab, you can also come to elements and you can search for different types of tabs and you can use these tabs as well. Um, just remember that you need to move the tab behind your page here. Um, that's going to hide the bottom end. All right, so once you have your tab, you'll place your headings on your tabs. Now, you'll notice that this tab here um, is uh, just a graphic. So if you want to add a word, then you have to come here and you have to add uh, text in here. Um, and I'm going to call this tab two. Okay, and I'm just going to resize that a little bit and just uh, kind of center it in the middle. A little bit. Okay, um, and let me just bold that. Okay, so now I've got my tab too. I'm going to come here. Now, I used a shape for this. So um, it's actually for shapes, you can actually write text in shapes. So I am going to call this tab one uh, and I'm just going to change the font 
to that one and I'm going to change it uh, to match um, this one here. So actually I'm just going to come here and I'm going to click my uh, copy style. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to move that back down and you'll notice now that um, that the text is just sitting just below my page. It's kind of a little bit hidden. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the spacing and we're going to, um, you see over here, it's set to center uh, the alignment and we're just going to come here and align the text to the top and that should um, help uh, a little bit. Now there's also padding so you can uh, increase the padding just to make it uh, line up with your with all the other ones and then you can just copy the style all the way along okay so um, uh, so you've got tab 1 and tab 2 so and you can keep going tab 3 4 5 6 you can call this page 1 page 2 you can call this um, January February whatever you want to call it okay so I'm going to copy this onto um, another page here, paste, I'm going to add, and then I'm just going to make a couple of duplicate pages here. Um, so once you've completed your planner or your notebook, um, then at the end you would come back and you would create your tabs. You wouldn't create your tabs as you're going along because you have to create the hyperlinks and you create the hyperlinks at the end. That way you can take the tabs with the hyperlinks and copy them on each page. Unfortunately, there isn't a quick way to um, copy the tabs and the links uh, to all your pages. Unfortunately, you have to do it page by page. Canva doesn't allow you to bulk update tabs with links on every single page. And it doesn't have a template uh, like PowerPoint does. Okay, so um, what I'll do now is I'm going to label my pages um, or name my pages. So page one is tab one. Page two is tab two. And I'll create uh, maybe an index page. Okay, so um, I'll come back here and I'm just going to uh, copy. I'll make a duplicate of that just quickly and move it here. And I'm going to push that in backward. And I'm going to call this index. And now, so now we're at the stage to hyperlink. So now I'm going to grab this and you'll see that the link button will come up automatically. And I want to link that to my pages in this document, tab one. I'll say done. Now this one, I'll want to um, link to tab two. And you'll notice that the link button didn't come up. So I had to press the ellipsis for the link to come up. It's okay. Uh, either way works fine. I'll say done and link it to the index. So now that I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test it out. So I'm just going to click tab two and see if it takes me to tab two and it did. So I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller so we can see. So over here, I'm going to click on index and I'm going to click index and it should take me to index, which it did. Okay. So now what's next? What's next is you need to grab carefully grab your tabs. You're going to play, you're going to press control C and then you're going to come to your next page here and you're going to press control V and you might have to push your tabs back. Um, so you'll go to position and you'll send it back and you'll do the same for the next page paste and you're going to send it to the back. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Um, so what happens next? Next, you have to, once you're all done and you've copied your tabs from one page to another, you can come to share. And remember what I said at the beginning, the links are only active for PDF files or links where um, you are sharing the copy of the template or um, a hyperlink. So you'll come in here, you'll click 
PDF and you'll click download. And so here is my document here. I'm just going to open it up in a PDF format. And when I click tab two, it's taking me to tab two. When I click index, it's taking me to index. So that's about it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, if you've learned anything in this video, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to receive updates for future uh, video tutorials. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye for now, my friends.